we are at Intermodal 2011, and I have here with me Miss Vanessa from Curaçao. What is your impression of this show in Brazil right now? Well, this Intermodal show is a very important uh, show for uh, everybody, all the companies, countries that want to develop their logistical sector. I work at the Curaçao Chamber of Commerce. I've been working there for almost 17 years and I work uh, with uh, companies. We develop economic activities, we stimulate export, we capacitate, we give education to our local um, small businesses. And uh, the reason why we are here at Intermodal is because, as I said earlier, we want to show the world that Curaçao can offer a solution with regards to the transportation or the facilitation of the logistics from one point to the other point. I see. And I heard that uh, the, the minister, there is a minister from Curaçao, Curaçao here, right? Yes, the Minister of Economic Development of Curaçao, Mr. Abdul Nasser El Hakim, is here. And uh, he, is, he heads the delegation uh, from Curaçao and he's here to give um, more exposure and also to support the companies from Curaçao that are present. We have approximately 16 companies from the logistics sector um, here with us at Intermodal in order to, uh, to gain more uh, knowledge and also to do business. What is the appeal for the foreign investor uh, to invest in, in Curaçao? Well, um, there are many um, things that um, um, uh, can be done in Curaçao and there are, are many investment opportunities. We will focus now on logistics um, because uh, this is a logistics trade show. But besides logistics, there are other opportunities as well. We have a very good port. Um, Curaçao is known for almost 400 years as a distribution center in the Caribbean. We have a very good port, very big, with very good uh, modern services, and we have the support of a very well-developed custom service, and we also have tools and incentives to stimulate the distribution of products through Curaçao. Besides that, we also have a very good airport that has expansion opportunities. There are a lot of uh, lots around the airport that can be used for activities related to airports. For example, warehousing, transshipment um, um, of, uh, of goods, um, services related to um, logistics can also be done at the airport. So there are opportunities to build things. For example, cold storage. Uh, for goods that come from South America and that have to be distributed in the Caribbean. You can establish in, uh, in, in Curaçao and from Curaçao distribute to the many islands in the Caribbean. We have economic zones, which are kind of easy, um, free trade zones. But like we, Manaus here. Like Manaus also has a free zone. Curaçao also has free zones, but we call them economic zones because we can house products and services. So services, especially services related to logistics. For example, goods that come to Curaçao, they are warehoused and from Curaçao they are distributed. Or we can also do virtual um, logistics in the sense that goods um, um, leave Brazil to the U.S. They don't even have to come to Curaçao, but all the logistics is being coordinated through Curaçao. Sales, invoicing, everything. And that is uh, connected with very attractive incentives. They pay only 2% profit tax on the profit they made on their worldwide sales. They don't have to pay import duties, they don't have to pay VAT because the products will not stay in Curaçao or the products don't even come to Curaçao. Very interesting. And, this, and if you have a business in Curaçao, you can enjoy Curaçao too, right? Exactly. <laughs> After 5 o'clock, when everybody stops uh, to work, it feels like vacation. <laughs> <laughs> it's warm the, the whole year through. We have nice beaches, we have nice restaurants. How many languages clubs. are spoken in Curaçao officially? Well, we communicate in uh, several languages, but the official languages are Papiamento, which is our native language. It's an official language as well. Dutch is also an official language wow. and uh, English and Spanish is widely spoken and more and more people are starting to speak Portuguese because Brazil 
because it's of Brazil, because uh, uh, Brazil is a very important uh, market for us, and uh, that's why people are more and more uh, speaking Portuguese. Thank you very much for this interview, and uh, good luck to you during the show. Thank you, muito obrigada. <laughs>